Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A lawyer for accused cult leader Nathan Chasing Horse asked a judge to throw out all charges against him. The lawyer argued that Chasing Horse's imprisonment is unlawful since state prosecutors haven't established probable cause for any of the 19 felony counts he is facing, including allegations that he sexually assaulted a teenage girl and a woman and that he was trafficking drugs. Chasing Horse's trial is set for May 1st. A suspect was arrested Wednesday in the stabbing death of a man whose body was found beside a knife on a sidewalk near UNLV. When officers arrived on the scene to East Katy Avenue and Maryland Parkway, the man was pronounced dead. The suspect has yet to be identified and the motive has not been established. Nevada and Nye County officials face another lawsuit for allowing an impaired driver to continue driving after being stopped. That person would end up killing three people. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more. Well, this time a father's filing a wrongful death lawsuit on behalf of his six-year-old daughter after her mother died in that crash. Josh Meyer's complaint alleges Deputy Brianna Nelson followed 34-year-old Tyler Kennedy for about an hour on US-95, saw him speed, drift across the center line before she turned off the highway in March 2021. Can you step out of the vehicle? According to Meyer's suit, before that, several Nye County deputies talked to Kennedy at this Area 51 Alien Center store in Armagosa Valley and found evidence of drug use. Your pills are going in the trash, all right? Don't do drugs. Later that afternoon, when Kennedy drove on U.S. Highway 95, he crossed over and crashed into oncoming traffic, killing three members of an Idaho family and seriously injuring Meyer's daughter and another child. This latest suit names Nye County, the Department of Public Safety, Nye County Sheriff's deputies, and an NHP trooper as defendants. Those defendants declined to comment on this case. Prosecutors plan to seek the death penalty against a convicted felon accused of fatally stabbing another man on an RTC bus. 59-year-old Aaron Cole faces one count of murder with use of a deadly weapon in connection with the February 26 slaying of Dominique Lucas. In seeking capital punishment, prosecutors said that at the time of the stabbing, Cole was on parole after serving 23 years in prison in Texas for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. For more on this story, log on to LVRJ.com. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Golden Knights goaltender Robin Leonard was accused of fraud in connection with his ongoing Chapter 7 bankruptcy case. Both Aaliyah Growth Fund creditor and American Express made claims of fraud against Leonard and his wife. Aaliyah Growth Fund is asking for a payback of $4.75 million, and American Express is seeking repayment of nearly $100,000. The Review Journal reached out to the Leonard's attorney for comment, but no response. And third-party alcohol deliveries are coming to unincorporated Clark County. The Clark County Commission on Tuesday was presented a report that outlined regulations for the deliveries. Nevada legalized third-party liquor deliveries in 2021. Prior to that, the city of Las Vegas legalized liquor deliveries to virtually anywhere in the city except gambling establishments. The commission didn't take any action Tuesday. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny with highs in the upper 60s, low 70s is in your forecast for today. Slight breezy conditions today, but decreasing by this evening. Evening lows in the mid to upper 40s. For the rest of the week, temps will climb even more. Friday, we could see daytime highs in the mid 70s to start the weekend. Light winds and evening lows in the mid 50s. We're projecting to see 80 degree temps by Saturday. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Golden Knights are hosting the Los Angeles Kings at 7 p.m. tonight at T-Mobile Arena in a game that has very big playoff implications. The Knights have a four-point lead on the third-place Kings in the Pacific Division standings with three games to go after this one. That means the Knights, if they win tonight, have all but clinched home ice advantage in at least the first round. A loss will bring them back to the pack a little bit and make them vulnerable still down the stretch to second place Edmonton and the Kings should be a really good one tonight. Make sure to check out ReviewJournal.com for all your coverage. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. COVID cases, hospitalizations, and deaths remain at pandemic lows in Clark County and statewide. 
The 14 day average for daily new confirmed cases in Clark County remained at 83 statewide. The number dipped to 109 from last week's 111. Hospitalizations declined in Clark County to 104 from 127. Statewide, the number dipped to 131 from 145. The number of deaths remain at zero in Clark County and one death statewide. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NBA regular season ends Sunday, and the Milwaukee Bucks are the 3-1 favorite at the Westgate Super Bowl to win the championship. The Boston Celtics are the plus 350 second choice, followed by the Phoenix Suns at plus 550, and the Denver Nuggets at 7-1. The defending champion Golden State Warriors are next at 10-1, and the Philadelphia 76ers are 12-1. The Los Angeles Lakers and Memphis Grizzlies are each 14-1. The odds then jump up to 25-1 for the Los Angeles Clippers. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Millions of people now play pickleball across the U.S., and there are dozens of courts across the Las Vegas Valley under development. The city of Las Vegas is considering a proposal to spend $12 million in grant funds to develop a 30-court pickleball complex at the West Wayne Bunker Family Park. The Bend also has plans to bring a court that will occupy indoor and outdoor space. To find out where the existing pickleball courts are located across the valley, log on to LVRJ.com and look for this article. And today is National Burrito Day, and to celebrate, Baracha Mexican Cantina in Green Valley Ranch Resort is debuting its five-pound burrito. This two-hands burrito is 20 inches long and 8 inches wide, stuffed with chicken or steak, rice, and cheese. If the $42 burrito is finished in 15 minutes or less, it's free. For more National Burrito Day celebration spots, visit lvrj.com slash entertainment slash food. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.